again guys here from Willemstad, the capital of Curaçao. I am starving and I've been told this is a good place to come and grab some food. It's a place popular with both locals and tourists and I think they sell some traditional Curaçao food in here. So hello sir. Hello. And as you can see well it is quite busy and buzzing with people. At least there's aircon. So it's very welcome on a hot day like today so. Hi how are you? Very good. Do you sell conch? I want to try some conch. conch. Yes, you don't. What do you have? We have salt, fish, beets, two goats, two red snappers, sliced fish, okra. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'll just I'll check some of the other shops and see and uh, see what I can get. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's a lot of fish dishes here that you can try and some stews by the looks of it. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, I want to eat some conch. Hello. Hey, how are you? Do you sell conch? Conch? Conch. No, conch uh, is a uh, uh, goat, Goat, beef, steak, chicken, restrape, mahima, okla, soup, rupe, ostel, colo, okay. and okay, so, yeah, so okay. fish. And some fish and stuff. Okay, yeah. Do you know which of these ones sell conch? Is there okay. a conch one or not? Okay, okay yes. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Let's go and try it here. Yeah. Hello, sir. How are you? Very good. Sir, do you sell conch? Conch. I don't have today. You don't have today? No. What do you have? I have a bowl, beef, a stew, beef stew, chicken, uh, What is a traditional curusao? The goat. The goat. Yeah. Okay, which, which one is a goat? Yeah, just check. Over there? Yes. Very good. Okay. Hi. Yes, I saw you yesterday. How are you? Very good. There's no conch today, which is a shame. Do you have tomorrow maybe, you think? Can I just maybe try the next one? Okay, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I saw her yesterday, yeah, she uh, said they had conch yesterday and they don't have today, but maybe, yeah, they do. So, hi, how are you? I'm very good, I'm very good. Do you sell conch? I'm just making some YouTube. Yes. What is your name? Luli. Luli, nice to meet nice you, Luli. Nice to meet you. I'm Billy, nice to meet you. Yes. So, so you've got the conch? Is this one? Yeah, conch is this one. Yes, please, yes. Just, just seeing where I can sit. Do you sit anywhere or? Rice and beans, cornmeal. What can I get? So it's rice and beans. You can try some white rice, yes. rice and beans, or cornmeal. How can I have rice and beans? You want rice and beans? Yes, you please. want some little cake? I have lemon juice, local fruit punch, and regular. Maybe some lo local fruit punch. Yeah. Local I think that's a good choice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll just grab a seat here, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Additional Caribbean food experience. Hello. Excuse me. Hello, sir. Hello. So, you seem Sorry? You seem experienced. Experienced? You know, yeah. No, I'm not, yeah. yes. You yes. have the camera, so I Oh, see. you mean that? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. So, what is the concept of the here? So, I've been told to eat the conch by a friend, yeah. So, if you. So, this is what I'll have. I'll show you what I've got. So, I'm, I'm just a tourist like you, you know? So, yeah, I've got. I, I thought you were a blogger or something. Yeah, so I'm the conch uh, that I've got over there. But only, that's, that's only because I've got a friend who told me, you know, to try it and stuff. Yeah, so. Well, I will try the conch today. Yeah. Where are you from, sir? Uh, I'm Egyptian. Origin. Egyptian, yeah, okay. Yeah. Where are you, sir? We're from the same continent. I'm South African. Oh. Yes, yeah. So, you come from far as well. Yeah? Well, I've been yes. living in France for 10 years, but. So you just took a flight down here and... Uh, I live in St. Martin now, French Center. Oh, French St. Martin. Okay, yeah. very nice, yeah. Now I've been told I'm having the conch. Conch, it's... Uh, I don't really... Scalpers. I don't know what the French or the... Uh, no, it's Netherlands. Paviamento, Netherlands and English. Yes. Conch, so conch is fish, right? It says scalpers. The goat, the goat as well is nice, yeah. Stew. What is your favorite? My favorite is two beef, two chicken, and the maimai. Maimai is filling. Oh, very good, yes. Like today, and the other one is a bowl. Yeah, more 
stuff there. There's bones in it? Yeah, so much choice, eh? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, come join. What is your name? Nice to meet you. I'm Vili, nice to meet you. Yes. You're right with a camera, yes, as you said. So I'm making some vlogs. Yeah, I saw the camera, I said the man is experienced. <laughs> There you go, that's my YouTube, Thank if you, you want to go and check. So, where in Egypt are you from? Cairo. I've Cairo. Never been there. I've never been to Egypt. No, I've been told actually the camera, so the camera, people don't like it. Yeah, the authorities over there, is that true? Uh, it's good. Yeah. Well, there are some places you can take photos of, like everywhere in the world. Yeah, room. yes. But it's it's good to good place to go and visit. Yeah, Cairo is Cairo is an iconic city, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. We, we are the most ancient civilization in the world. Yes. So there are yes. some places to see. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Now I'll um, obviously the pyramids and the, yeah the Nile River. It's something it's to see. Yeah. If it's once in a lifetime, it's something to see. Yes. It's such a big world to see out there. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to our food now. What did you go for in the end? Uh, mahi mahi. Right. Yeah. I, I went for what I know. Yes. Mahi Something mahi familiar. Mahi. Yeah. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. Never had this <laughs> Yeah. But it looks like, I mean, this is popular with tourists and with locals. Uh, it looks like it. I have been told by many people, this is a place to eat. Yeah, for sure. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah. So, here I am. Yeah. They always say that you should go where the locals eat. And you yeah. can see a lot of locals, you know, that that is a good place. This is why I didn't go to the first place. Yes. And here's my drink with a smile. Thank you very much. Well, what is this exactly? It's a local fruit punch with oregano inside. Oregano? Oregano, yes. Okay, so, wow. Well, thank Easy. you very much. Local it's fruit, fruit punch. punch. So it has alcohol in it. Nice fruit punch, one Oh, well, let's give it a sip here. Yeah. Wow, it's very sweet. It's, uh, it's a fruit punch. Mm. Definitely tastes a mix of fruits. And it's got this green color, which is very refreshing. And you went for the classic Coca Cola, yeah? Coke Zero, yeah. Or Coke Zero, yeah. You can't beat Coca Cola. <laughs> Some people brought McDonald's as well. But of a corporate taste, yeah, at a local venue. This fruit punch. I'm trying to figure out what fruits are in here. Because it is a real mix. Yes, sir. Yes. Sorry? I'll show you. There you go. Are you from uh, Curacao? Very good. You want to say hi to the camera? Hi. <laughs> Hello, guys. Nice to meet you. Can I? Uh... Yes, of course. There you go. Yes, look, we are eating good food, Curacao food. You don't eat Curacao food? Yeah, we are all here. <laughs> we eat uh, and we now. We eat McDonald's, we eat local food. Very good. Yes. Thank you, sir. What is your name? My name is Machito. Machito, I'm Vili. Nice to meet you. Yes. I'm from South Africa, but I live in England now. England? Yes. I'm not family in England. You have family? In Nottingham. Nottingham, okay, very good. I live in Brighton, which Brighton is in the south. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes, no, very nice to meet you, sir. Yes. And uh, what, did you, what did you have, you say? I ordered papaya stupa. Very good. Papaya is English. Fruit? Fruit, yes. With rice, potatoes. And popular with uh, locals yes. here, yes. Very good. Yeah. Nice one, guys. I guess, I guess. Yes, please, sir. Yeah, thank you. Is that Fanta? But it's it's Fria. Is it the same as Fanta? What it taste? No, it's all right. I'll just. Uh, it's a banana one. I've never seen a banana one. So, but is it like a Fanta? No, it's banana. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. It's distributed by Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yes. No, no. Oh, Curacao Cola. Okay. Well. But it's got the same font as Fanta. Yeah. Ah, this is, maybe maybe some knockoff. This is grounds for a little <laughs> Yeah, that's what the locals drink here, so I'm gonna have to get to the supermarket at one stage and get one as well. Yeah. Maybe a local drink that has been bought by Coca-Cola. By Coca-Cola, yes. Okay, yeah. well, here we go. My food, wow. 
and conch with a little salad, mashed potato, planting, yes. and your rice and beans. Okay, and yeah. where's, where's the conch? This one. This one underneath there? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So what is the conch actually? The conch is a bit of a... it's, it's a scalp fish. Oh. So, yeah, it's a, it's a shellfish. Right, so I'm going to dig straight in with a conch here. There it is. And, uh, John the Baptist from Brighton, you recommended me try this, so uh, this one's for you. Here it goes. This is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It tastes a little bit like abalone that we get in South Africa. And so flavorful. There you go. The conch. It's delicious, thank you very much. It is a relatively soft meat and I had some reservations before eating this but this is probably one of my favorite foods I've had in a long time. Absolutely delicious. Very rich and very filling as you would expect with a lot of seafood and let's try some of the beans and rice the mix there it goes mm. nice flavor typical caribbean flavor a little bit spicy which is nice and of course there's a plantain bit of a fried plantain here it goes It tastes a little bit different from a banana. I don't know, is it the same as a banana or something? It's a different plant. It's not the same as a banana, this one. It's a different breed of bananas, this one. But yeah, it, uh, I'm not sure if I've had this before. Mm. You don't think? No, I, I eat the fried banana. The fried banana and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I have to say, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this. But it actually, uh, I think it adds something to the plate. Something, a little bit of a different taste. Don't judge by these. No, not at all. No, no, I won't. There's more of a conch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, similar texture to abalone, maybe maybe a little bit of calamari texture as well. Calamari-esque texture. But very rich and it's going to be very filling. And an interesting mix of things here on the plate, like I said. I had the plantain, the fried plantain. Not the biggest fan of that, but the rice and beans does add a bit of variety to the plate and obviously then you've got your green garnish and salad over there and you've got someone else who's interested in some food here the pigeons here in the caribbean are everywhere trying to steal food hey guys this is one of the better meals i've had in a long time i have to say the food here in the caribbean really is special and the conch here is very very unique i'm trying to think which meal here in the caribbean was the best one the dutch pancakes in aruba or the uh, conch here in curacao i think i'm gonna have to go with a conch it is just so unique and when you are here in willemstad i can absolutely recommend coming here it wasn't actually my choice so john the baptist excellent choice 18 US. Okay, 18 US. There you go. And another one for you there as well, yeah? Thank, Thank you. you very much. I appreciate it. Yes. 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 Very good. Very good stuff, yeah. Very good. There's okay, my tail. Go and see. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you, chef. Okay. Cheers, man. Enjoy. All yeah, the best. Bye -bye. Yeah. You, Cheers, guys. Yes, man. I will see you. Yes, you will. Well, guys. Yeah. That was nice. So, uh, 
If you're hungry and you're in Curacao, definitely come here. Anyway, we got more exploring to do, so let's go. I'm still here in Willemstad, the capital of Curacao. And the plan today is to explore another part of Willemstad. It's called Pieter Mai. And Pieter Mai was first constructed in 1675, younger than Punda, but older than Otrobanda. And it's also renowned for a lot of color and a really relaxing part of Willemstad. And we will start our walk here in Nieuwe Straat, New Street in Pieter Mai Small. They are not shy to use color here in Pieter Mai. Do you know the saying, blue and green should never be seen without a color in between? So, a bit of a fashion rule. They are, in fact, breaking it correctly because they use pink and yellow and white and a bit of black. Although, I would argue that black is not actually a color. Black is the absence of color. Let me know your views about that. Is that Che Guevara over there? In this restaurant and check out this particular building over here adding a bit of charm next to the really striking and vibrant colors over there and the juxtaposition with that building over there with the scrapes of paint obviously reminds me as well of the Boer Carp in Cape Town but I do think the use of color is probably more widespread in Willemstad than in any part of the world, including Boerkarp. And you've got various alleys here, you see Witte Stier, consular building here, and attorneys, and then right next to the attorneys, a building that no longer exists. So, official, corporate, and non-existent. Another colourful one here with a fish. That reminds me of Hamamet in Tunisia. Yeah, let's check out some of the water. We are in the Caribbean after all, aren't we? Oh yes. Now yeah, just look at the colour of the water. Yeah, no beach here. No bathing spot. But still just nice to come and relax here. And over there as well, more people having the same idea as I have. Just chilling out here. Yeah guys, I hope you're enjoying this series of the Dutch Caribbean. So, I will obviously say goodbye to Curaçao at some point. After Curaçao, I still have Bonaire to visit, the last of the ABC islands, the smallest in terms of population, but the second biggest. So I've been told that it would be a completely different vibe as well because of its low population density. And the focus there would very much just be on taking things very, very slow. But I have to say, and I've uh, mentioned this in another vlog as well, is the pace of life feels a lot more relaxed in Willemstad than in Uranjestad. It could be that because there's so many more neighborhoods that are popular with tourists and that people want to explore, is that the tourists are spread out a lot more here in Willemstad than in Uranjestad, perhaps. And of course, in Aruba, most of the people were on the beach, but the town center of Uranjestad still felt like it was very, very busy compared to Willemstad and certainly over here in Pieter Mai like in other parts of Willemstad it does feel very relaxed check this out Van Gogh specialty coffee Dead Cafe Old Dutch Curaçao and again the polar bear I bet this area must be absolute hell for a polar bear to live Cafe Old Dutch Curaçao. Again, just look at the different shades of blue, turquoise, 
light blue over here and a darker blue there absolutely brilliant but hey look here guys here's a vacant plot of land so maybe if i do win the lotto one day i can come and build a house here in peter mai obviously i gave my lotto ticket here in willemstad away whether or not i should have done that remains to be seen but one can only dream hey just have a nice house here overlooking the caribbean sea it kind of makes me wonder why this plot of land is actually vacant i'm sure it would catch the eye of some person at some point and also why is this building not being maintained because this is a really really nice area to set up shop or to come and live and again here another vacant plot of land so if i ever win the lotto maybe i'll come and set up shop here more alleys here called Dreiweg. yeah this looks really residential as well let's check it out Yeah, it looks like there are people living here. Outside seating areas, there's a broom. And yeah, maybe not a lot of potted plants on the main streets, but in the residential areas, they definitely are. In the little stiergies, in the little alleys. Look over here as well. Beautiful potted plants. This looks like a restaurant, but it's pretty shut. And I have seen a lot of Buddha statues as well here in the Caribbean. Certainly my room in Aruba, in Oranjestad, in the bathroom, there were some Buddhas. And oh, just look at this. This is what I love about Willemstad. So I'll just take a few steps back again, guys over here and as you just walk as you walk from one alley to the next or to a street you were just greeted it's like opening a storybook of colors the colors just appear randomly so surprises around every corner and a huge variety of shops as well and buildings you've got a street food shop here wine bar boutique shops other restaurants yeah that's the other side of the restaurant we just passed yeah looks like a nice restaurant as well hello sir and here yeah, another surprise around the corner here a nice street mural now just look at this as a picture if I was a photographer, I'm sure this would make a very nice picture. The orange and the shocking pink and the red. And again there with the peach and yellow overlooking here. Absolutely loving it here in Peter Mai. So what do you think of Willemstad? Do you think you could live here? Do you think you can live in the Dutch Caribbean? Obviously it's a very, shall we say, isolated part of the world. It's far away from Europe, it's far from Africa. Obviously very close to South America and to the United States. But limited flights, perhaps to other parts of the world maybe that is exactly why some people would want to live here and i actually wonder how expensive it is to live here i suspect that unless you earn a reasonable salary it might be actually a very tough existence and the weather here will not be for everyone that's for sure if you are 
happy to have weather of 30 degrees Celsius all year round. I think this would be your place. I am definitely a summer person and not a winter person. But I have to admit, I always say that I will move to places where the sun shines all the time. I'm not sure if I actually want 30 degree weather every single day of my life. I think that might actually be a little bit tough and it might take away the luxury of a summer holiday somewhere. But yeah, let me know your views, your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of Willemstad as a place to live, to come and move to? I think this could very well be a dream destination for many, but a very difficult place for others, certainly for the polar bears. We saw in the advertisements here. This is not the place for polar bears, that's for sure. And here's vibrant colors and also the Spanish style house numbers over there. So mix of Dutch architecture and Spanish street numbers or house numbers, Caribbean flora. Wow, check this out as a monument. Empty beer bottles stuck up here. Wow, quite unique. Look at that. Mr. Porter. Look at these cute little houses here. Again, different colors. And again, guys, if I was a photographer, I think these cute little houses here would make a very, very nice picture, don't you think? But it's just so much more fun being a YouTuber and commenting on various things you see. But it doesn't mean I can't appreciate a beautiful photo opportunity. Bon dia, sir. It's beautiful, eh? Beautiful Peter Mai. I love it. Yes. They are restoring it, yes. Not you, yes, but they, yes. Very good. Yeah. Have a good day, sir. See you later. So people hard at work here. Restoring parts of Peter Mai. A little bit of graffiti there for us as well. And a project in its making. On dia, sir. Hello, how are you? Oh, good. Good, you're restoring, uh, you're building. You are building a house. Ah, we, we are renovating. Renovating? Yeah, we renovating that. This one, the only one we built. And that one as well, is this a new building? Yeah, it's a new building, yeah. Oh, very ah, nice. And then there's two, we renovated it. This one is building. Beautiful, and I love, I love all the colors here in oh, Peter yeah. Mai. Uh, yeah, yes, you. can you show me? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So you are restoring here? Yeah? Yeah, restore Building. Oh yes. Are they going to be officers or is it people uh, living here? Home. home. Home for someone. Yeah. Very, very good, man. And it must be tough working in this heat, this weather, uh, huh? No. It's not easy. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, sir. Appreciate okay, it. You're welcome. All the best. Thank you. Yeah, so people hard at work here in Peter Mai. Restoring and building houses. Homes for people. So a lot of the derelict areas or dilapidated areas will probably be renovated in due course. So there we go. Freedom forever. Freiheit for ewig. And oh yeah, wow. Again, surprises around every corner. Some street art. This house just could be in any storybook for children, like a fantasy land. Look at that. It looks like it looks like one of those houses, you know, with a different sweets that you could eat. Almost like a Hansel and Gretel kind of house. And again over here, 
presumably that one will get restored and this one is in tip-top condition look at the beautiful white balcony and the light purple color and shocking pink is a very popular color here in Willemstad yeah look at this wow so clearly in need of a bit of TLC from a structural perspective but it has received a lot of TLC from an art perspective look at that couple dining those two clearly in love enjoying a drink beautiful flowers here these look like apartments and look at that a dive center so Curusao obviously also renowned for water sports and snorkeling especially in Klein Curusao or Little Curusao which you can visit and if you're interested in exploring shipwrecks you can also come and do it here in Curusao very popular place to do it but there you can see scuba diving what do we have here a concept store fashion lifestyle gifts home just beautiful very special to be here and yeah more people hard at work here in Curusao they don't have an apricot band on the flag here in Curusao like they have in Armenia in Armenia the apricot band represents the hard work and talent of the people but I have to tip my hat to the people of Willemstad as well for working hard and in heat like this I think it is absolutely a huge challenge so Willemstad I do tip my hat to you for working hard and restoring and renovating parts of your beautiful city so the National Archaeological Anthropological Memory Management that's a bit of a tongue twister another scuba lodge here and here you've got balconies and lots of flowers and plants on these ones and just look at the interesting balcony over there on that yellow building and the detail engravings there I'll just do a bit of a panoramic shot and give you a flavor of all the colors here it really does make you feel like you are reading a storybook and entering a fantasy land and then you hear traffic and you're back to reality right guys I'm gonna to try to catch a bus to one of the beaches here Mumbo Beach I think it's called and I've been told that the bus stations over there so let's see if we can find our way there hello sir which bus to Mumbo Beach Mumbo Beach you know in van Iris okay yeah good thank you bye thank you Cool. Hi, hello, Mambo Beach. Can I come? Can I is there a space? Thank you, sir. How much, sir? Two dollars. Two dollars, yes. Here you go, donkey, sir. Thank you. So help. Okay. <laughs> oh. I see it at the back of a bus. Like a coat, ne? <laughs> Aircon is lekker. Yes. Uh, local buses to Mambo Beach. I've been told it's very nice. It's nice, Mambo. Yes. <laughs> Mambo Beach, sir. Thank you, donkey brother. See you later. Thank you. Right, guys. We have arrived here at Mambo Beach in Curaçao. Let's go check it out. Maybe have a bit of a dip as well. I think I've earned it after a, another long day of vlogging. But yeah, just uh, just another reminder of where we are, Mambo. Some stores here where you can buy beach stuff and other souvenirs. 
Welcome, you see, even an elevator, wow. So, where shall we go? Let's go down here. You've got even more shops and restaurants there. Right. Are you excited? I always am. Walking through a tunnel like this or a area and you just wonder what's around the corner what surprises there are so oh yes i can hang out here for a bit look at that all the activities here parties and happy hour let's check it out oh yes looks like paradise Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Look at all the surfboards over there. Now oh, this is the life. Beach bar as well, getting smoothies and drinks. Guys, this is pretty special. Just look at this. I can hang out here for a bit, that's for sure. People just relaxing and different age groups as well. And I think I'm going to park myself here for a bit, have a feel for the water. And not a bad view, right? Guys, and before I go into the water, I'm first going to have a sip of this banana drink, fake Fanta which we saw the gentleman have in the lunch place and I am going to give it a taste see what it tastes like if it tastes like banana or something else well it should really there we go knock off Fanta here goes Tastes a little bit like banana. Not as much as I thought it would, to be honest. So, almost like a bit of a pine nut taste as well that we have in South Africa, but maybe that's just because it's yellow and it reminds me of pine nut, so. Yeah. It's also not as sweet as I thought it would be, which is probably a good thing. So, here it goes. Yeah actually quite nice banana is a tropical fruit and the fruit of paradise i am here in paradise absolutely right guys mambo beach curacao here goes yeah uh, it's just so nice to be here uh... right guys i'm gonna head back to the hotel we'll walk Obviously through the Punda area again, across the Queen Emma Bridge, so you will see that again as well. Yeah, check out all these pigeons. I've had my lunch, but they're still busy consuming theirs. They, uh, they certainly are a bit of a nuisance in some of the restaurants. Bon dia, is your boat. Nice boat. I do like to look at a place from various angles and explore it from different places different vantage points for example i've not noticed these boats when i was on the other side of these tourist stalls or souvenir shops on this side of the road so sometimes you just need to walk a little bit towards the other side to get a completely different perspective of a place and of course then this bridge here Juliana Bridge, Queen Juliana Bridge, you can see from a different angle as well. And yeah, just looking at these markets again, yeah, lots of fruit. So, a lot more fruit for sale here than in Aruba, that's my experience. And you can see the fruit traders here having a discussion. I wonder if all of this fruit will get sold and what happens to it if it doesn't get sold. 
and let's not forget lots of clothing shops as is the case in all parts of Willemstad and the colorful street art murals we've seen in another vlog as well and people queuing for cash it is still a fairly cash centric economy I've paid for most of my stuff with card at places such as supermarkets and restaurants but many places will only accept cash so keep that in mind when you come here I have also found paying with US dollar is not a problem at all yeah, check out all the shoes for sale here in this shop beachwear and over there as well so let's mix things up a bit and explore some of the shops or more shops here hi hello Again, lots of colorful clothes various types of jeans all different kinds of shoes and yeah beautiful colors vibrant colors if you like a night out as well here in Willemstad this place will have you sorted I'm sure Frida Kahlo or half of Frida Kahlo check out the colorful Caribbean clothes over here This jacket here, if you want to make a fashion statement, that's Frida Kahlo in half and here's Frida Kahlo in full. Thank you, have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah, so mixing things up, checking out the fashion scene here in Willemstad. And now we are back in the town where the magic happens. The colourful buildings of Willemstad. Hey, hello guys, how are you? Good. <laughs> good, good. The people here in Willemstad definitely aren't camera shy. I've seen lots of people waving and enjoying the video. Jerenstraat. Saying goodbye to the Punda area for now. And we will cross the Queen Emma Bridge again. And there's the Love Locks and the Cannons again. And on this side, the waterfront with the Handelskade buildings. The Handelskade which is the picture postcard of Curaçao certainly when you take it in from the other side over there although the view from this side of a waterfront is also quite spectacular and with a Queen Juliana bridge over there and just giving you another shot here as well there's the pontoon boats as well yeah under the bridge quite a unique design and just a very special part of the world this especially if you consider how far we are from places like England and South Africa and it's quite difficult to get here from those places so that's what's so amazing for me about traveling to these places off the beaten track so obviously for people from America or South America this might be an everyday type destination or at least for some but it's not every day but I'll get the opportunity to come here so <laughs> something to treasure and really make the most of most of my time here and I can't get enough of this particular view to be honest even this pigeon can't get enough now I wonder what that means that person there carrying something on their head anyway Dutch architecture neat modern celebrities the old and the new combining to make a pretty picture and here's some more historic information about Queen Emma Bridge originally built in 1888 and it had a restoration period in the early 2000s so yeah just giving you another shot here of the iconic Handelskade and all the different colors and you know some of those story books for children books where the buildings are made of something edible they just look so edible these buildings so don't you think some Hansel and Gretel-esque building made of some cake with some icing colorful icing they are absolutely brilliant yeah, this is the other side of Queen Emma Bridge you can see some more souvenir stands here you can see some rocks 
over here and of course Queen Emma Bridge will be Handelskade over there and I think that's still part of the old wall or maybe the fort not entirely sure and the same over there some of the walls so let's go and check those out before we get there let's also check out some of the souvenir shops lots of Curacao bags and lots of art and trinkets little turtles and of course the flamingos they're everywhere and various magnets yeah just so lovely and peaceful walking here as well I think there's someone making some of these wooden messages here cocktails and dreams very very beautiful and we've got some music here on here hello sir Riff Fort 1828 I guess the Dutch during that period would have had some wounds from the Napoleonic Wars it wasn't that far ago and so they became more safety conscious and wanted to protect the island a bit more and here's the entrance definitely a great place to come and buy souvenirs and just to come and chill and relax and a reminder of the Dutch heritage here Hainan Delft Blow here you go some information about the Riff Fort built in 1828 to protect the entrance of the St. Anna Bay and the outer part of Otrobanda. Yeah, there's a lookout point for us here. The Caribbean Sea. And again, as I've always said, take in views of any location from different sides. So there we go. Right guys, I think now is a good time to take a break and to end the vlog right here so if you haven't done it yet please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for me in the comment section I'd like to hear what you thought about the food I had the conch as well as more of the sites here in Willemstad but for now just want to say thanks again for watching my videos and I'll see you again soon cheers